the production sedans in the Lions, Newcastle Central Lions Grand Classic over 50 laps from a rolling start and here to take them away is Ross. Last event of the night with a driving award being a Kodak Instant Camera Colourbus 250 but the ultimate prize being the Lions Charity Trophy and there are quite a few prestigious names on that trophy. Brian Callahan, Paul McHugh twice, Alan Butcher twice, then Paul McHugh again, John Smith, Graham Lilford and John Cartwright. Twenty-two cars. Okay, 50 laps of the Lion Grand Classic is to, ahead of us and the green flag drops and Bill Roberts on the outside took up the running very quickly indeed as I went into the turn one although he didn't uh, go very quickly with the job started to uh, slow down a little but now he's kicked away back into the front alright and so it is Bill Roberts from Sydney who leads them at the end of the opening lap then comes Michael Roll from the Gold Coast in Queensland in second place. Oh, Roll's gone. He's managed to keep it going all right though, but he's going to drop a lot of placings. He's going to drop back from second place right back to about sixth. This means that Paul McHugh now moves up into second place, followed by Giles in the number 91. Then comes Ralph Granger in fourth spot in the 11. Then the Lismore 9 is Pazuti. The Sydney 4 is Phil Harris. And the Queensland 83 is Alan Butcher. So it's Sydney 12, Bill Roberts leading them away. Paul McHugh is holding down second. Walter Giles is third, and then here's the good challenge coming on from Denver City. Oh, Walter Giles is gone. He's bumped up onto the infield. This leaves Pizzuti go up into third place, Ranger in fourth place, and then Butcher, followed by Unwin and Bill Harris. Peter Unwin seems to be making a fast forward move. He's up into uh, sixth place at the moment and putting a bit of pressure on Butcher. And it's Bill Roberts, the leader, in the Sydney number 12. Not steering terribly well coming down main straight away, but he's uh, well out in front. Blowing a little bit of smoke as he uh, pulls the power on, but he's gone right away from Paul McHugh in second place. Then comes uh, behind him Ralph Ranger. There's Alan Butcher moving through on Deb Pizzuti and going up. Behind them then is Peter Unwin. And then comes the Sydney 4 of Phil Harris. And the next car through is the Gold Coast number 15 of Michael Roll, who's up very high on the concrete wall and crowding into that wall again. Now the race leader is the Sydney number 12 of Billy Roberts. Gives a little bit of a puff of smoke as he plants his foot on the accelerator going into turn one. But he's starting to lap these slower cars now too. Then he comes out of uh, turn four and down the main straightaway with 42 laps to go. Roberts a clear leader. In second place now is Ranger in the number 11. Followed by the Queensland 83 of Butcher. The 14 of Paul McHugh has dropped back now. Oh, Ralph Ranger's blown. Ranger's blown. He's high up on the fence and out of the race. This means McHugh goes back up to third. Pizzuti is fourth. Then comes Unwin, followed by Harris. But Ranger is blown. He was holding down second place at the point that it let go to. Now Roberts is catching up to the slower stuff. And look at Alan Butcher catch up to him. Why, G Butcher is really starting to catch up to him. Butcher in second place at the moment in the Queensland 83. Then a long way back. Back to uh, Paul McHugh, followed by Ned Pizzuti, then comes Phil Harris in the Sydney 4, followed by Peter Unwin, then comes Gold Coast number 15 of Michael Roll, and then Roger Clark is behind him. Down Main 
straight away and Butcher has got Roberts. Yep, Roberts, uh, Butcher's gone to the lead. He's gone past Roberts and I say this could be a procession now. He took the lead with 38 and a half minutes to go. Butcher catching up to that slower traffic. Butcher who's in the lead from Sydney's Bill Roberts in second place. Then Sydney's Phil Harris has moved up the third. Lismore 9, Nev Kazuti is fourth. Then Peter Unwin in the 17, followed by the Gold Coast 15 of Michael Roll. Then Roger Clark right behind him and now John Cartwright starting to get up into some sort of calculation along with Graham Lilford in the New South Wales number one with John Smith behind him. No doubt about the leader, Alan Butcher. He comes down the straightaway now. He's giving right away an absolute picture of uh, confidence is Butcher. A long way back then in second place to Bill Roberts, followed by Harris. Then Neville Pizzuti has moved up well. Behind him comes Peter Unwin, followed then by Kelleher. Behind him is Clark and then Roll. And uh, there goes the big uh, dice of the race between Lilford and Cartwright here. Lilford getting in underneath Cartwright. Cartwright coming back at him again but Lilford hanging on to him as they come out of the corner. Butcher the leader. Alan Butcher the big... Uh, oh, there's trouble here. Trouble. Yes, I think we're going to have to have a, a yellow light. No, let him go. Caution flag coming out. Hold your line flag. And there's trouble down there in the corner, but they're still letting them run. Yes, they're still letting them run. I thought they might stop that. But Gary Searle was in bother there. Let's get back to the leader now. And it's Alan Butcher, the big banana bender, doing it well in second place still as Bill Roberts starting to be put under pressure now by Harris. But here's Butcher down the straightaway now. An absolute picture of concentration and perfect skill there as he goes into the corner. Oh, gee, a long way back then is, Har is uh, uh, big Bill Roberts uh, in the 12, followed by Harris in the 4, then Neville Pazoo making ground and bang, bing, bing goes John Smith as he came out there the yellow flag has to go out on this occasion and Smithy really copped it in that bingo coming down the straightaway there there were they just too many coming uh, into the acceleration zone now and bang they've got a green Roberts cheekily went away from Butcher, but he held the panel to the mantle, and they've gone around the corner with Butcher the leader. Butcher leads away now, and there's Harris has got up into second place from Roberts, who gives him a little nudge, one, two, three, four. That's about four kisses he got in the corner, but it's Butcher the leader from Harris, followed by Roberts and Dilford. Then comes Neville Pizzuti from Peter Unwin, Cartwright trying to go inside him, then Gallagher, oh, there's trouble, rolls his spun again. Yes. Foley hurled it sideways, Rolls uh, was the driver at fault there, I'd say he went of his own. But... Alan Butcher leading him into the pole position and the green flag drops, but Harris has got him. Harris took him on the start, Harris on the outside, now the leader from Butcher. Milford is now in third, there's Cartwright and Smith, we're going to have to have another yellow, aren't we? No, we've still got the green on. There's the yellow. Well, that's bad luck for Harris. Rotten bad luck for Harris because he quite clearly outpaced Butcher at the start. We've got Queenslander Alan Butcher. Sydney, Phil Harris. Sydney, Bill Roberts, the first of the local drivers. Graham Lilford 
Lismore's Pizzuti, then another of the local drivers, Unwin. And the green flag falls, and Harris has got him again. Harris has got him again, so he's done it twice in a row. Butcher in second place. Milford now goes up to third. Then Billy Roberts, followed by Peter Unwin. Then Nev Pizzuti, John Smith and Cole Robinson. But it's the Sydney driver, Bill Harris, who has taken up the advantage from the Queensland driver, Alan Butcher. And now we'll see whether uh, Butcher, a former Australian champion, and Lilford, the current state champion, can take back the Sydney driver. Oh, Harris has got Sparks coming out. Sparks coming out from underneath Harris's car. Something's amiss there, I think. Yes. Sparks from Harris's car. Let's see what the problem is. Halfway left to go in this car race, and Bill Harris has got the lead from the Queenslander, Alan Butcher. Then comes Graham Milford, and we've got another stop. But Harris is the one who's in trouble. You know, we've also got it. Away they go. Now Butcher with the running on the outside. Butcher this time takes up the running. Harris on the inside is relegated back to second. Roberts on the outside of Lilford. Roberts goes up into third place. Lilford is pushed back to fourth. Unwin fifth. Robertson six. Cartwright seven. Pazuti eight. And Lloyd Pauley is nine. So halfway to go in this car race of Queensland 83. Alan Butcher is the leader. From Sydney four, that's Phil Harris. Followed by Sydney 12, that's Billy Roberts. Roberts. Then New South Wales won Graham Lilford, followed then by the 17 of Peter Unwin, then the Sydney 35 of Cole Robinson, from the South Coast 1 of John Cartwright, Lismore 9, then Pizzuti, and 91 Lloyd Dawley. But it's Alan Butcher now who starts to put a bit of space between he and Phil Harris. And Harris is going to have his hands full trying to stay in touch with Butcher as Butcher starts to really put space between he and the second placing. Now the interesting race that's going on at the moment is between Billy Roberts and Graham Lilford for third and fourth place at the moment. Roberts in the number 12 car and Graham Lilford in the New South Wales number one and Lilford trying to put the pressure on Roberts as they come out of turn number four. Roberts holding on to Lilford at the moment. Lilford trying to work, work his way underneath. And remember, Lilford came from position 18 on the grid, up into the fourth spot at the moment. Now he goes underneath Roberts. Roberts comes back at him, but Lilford gets up into third. No, Roberts comes back at him strongly on the outside. Lilford now on the inside gets the better though, and Lilford holds a clear third spot now. Roberts drops back to fourth. Unwin tried to dive through on the inside of him there too. And Butcher is the leader. He's racing away from them now. He's much too strong at this stage of the race. Harris is in second place. And then Lilford, who's worked his way up. But it's uh, Queensland's Alan Butcher, who's well clear. Sydney's Phil Harris is pulling out of the race. So that leaves Graham Lilford up into second place. Sydney's Billy Roberts. It looks like uh, Peter Unwin's starting to wear out a, uh, a hub or a rim there too. It looked to be glowing rather red as it went past me that time. I'll get another look at the uh, Unwin car as it comes by, but he certainly seems to be in bother with a rim or a brake drum or something there. No, it wasn't. It was the flame underneath it that caught my eye. Okay, back to the race leader, Alan Butcher. He's half a lap in front of the second place getter. He's lapping in 15.95 at the moment. Lilford in second place, half a lap behind. Then Roberts, Unwin, Robinson, Pizzuti, and Pauly. Well, at this stage, it would appear that Alan Butcher will become the first man to take out three Lions Grand Classics, is it? Uh, Paul McHugh was the first man to do it, and uh, Butcher will equal this performance of McHugh if he takes it out tonight. The surprise packet here tonight is the old-timer Billy Ross. Roberts. Now Bill is uh, not the youngest of drivers, he's a good friend, but by Jove he's doing well out there tonight. And he's getting a little bit tired I think as the pressure being applied to him now. But that's a magic performance by Billy Roberts who can give a lot of these drivers a lot of years. Alan Butcher the leader. She a long way back, uh, over half a lap back to uh, Graham Lilford who's not going too well at all at the moment. Then Bill Roberts holding off the challenge of Peter Unman. 
and then Callaghan, followed by Neville Pizzuti, uh, Robinson it is, uh, followed by Pizzuti, and uh, then uh, Lloyd Corley way back at the tail here. Helen Butcher starting to catch these other cars now. Uh, that'll give you an indication of how well he's going. Roberts in third place. Followed by Unwin, then uh, Robinson trying to get it underneath him. Then Neville Pizzuti. But Bill Roberts is still hanging on here. Get out a little bit lower there, Bill. Tidy it up, mate. And uh, there he goes. He got my message and tucked it down nice and tight there as he came down the straightaway. But Alan Butcher, the leader. And uh, there he is starting to lap them. He's lapped Pizzuti. He's gone around Nev Pizzuti there. He's going to have a look at the rest of them as they come down. Ten laps to run from here and it's Roberts, the leader. Roberts, the, at least uh, Butcher, the leader from Lilford, followed by Roberts. Roberts in uh, third place and holding off the pack. There's where the main interest is, I think, whether or not Bill Roberts can hang on to that third place. If he can, it will be a magic performance. Nine to run, and Butcher already up there with the pack has started to lap them, and if he gets around this bunch, he's only got Lilford dead. But it's Butcher up in uh, the uh, big white 83 car in this bunch here, looking uh, to go around them. Gets around the outside of Robinson there and goes uh, uh, around uh, Unwin too. He's looking to do it. A long way back here is Milford. And then Bill Roberts still holding out the challenge there of Peter Unwin and Robinson. Butcher coming around the outside, looking to gain more places. Does so do as they come down the straightaway. And there's Alan Butcher lapping the field. He's only got one car to lap now, and that's Graham Lilford. If he can get to Lilford, he will have lapped the whole field. But Lilford is half a lap away from him. Here's trouble. Trouble in the corner, but they got out of it all right. Yes, they got out of that okay. Pressure starting to tell. Bill Roberts hanging on to third place now, and he skipped a little further away. Alan Butcher the leader. Then a long way back to the number of one car just going into the southern corner, and that's Milford. Butcher is half a lap in front of him. And he is a lap in front of uh, Billy Roberts, who's hanging on to third spot there. Then comes Peter Unwin from Neville Pizzuti. But Alan Butcher with five, four laps to run, leading away comfortably now. Bill Roberts doing a magic job, in my opinion, hanging on to second place, uh, third place. Graham Milford is second, just passing us. The car passing us now, driven by Lloyd Thorley. But there's the lead car, Alan Butcher, going past the judge uh, with uh, three laps to go. Bill Roberts in third place there. Here's Graham Milford, the second place getter at the moment. And here's two laps to go here for Alan Butcher, the big uh, Queenslander. Alan Butcher with two to go. Then a long way back to Graham Lilford, Billy Roberts hanging on to third place. Then Peter Unwin and Neville Pizzuti. Butcher with one to go. Gets in underneath Lloyd Thorley. Alan Butcher the leader in 83. And he will equal Paul McHugh's record of three Lions Grand Classics. Alan Butcher will come to the line, a very good winner. Graham Lilford will be second. The interesting thing is to find out whether or not Bill Roberts can hang on to third. Butcher is the winner. Round the corner they come. Roberts will be third, yes, and there's the second car, Graham Lilford. But a great win indeed to Alan Butcher, that likeable... So it was Alan Butcher first, Graham Lilford second, and that old stager Billy Roberts. A magic performance by Bill, in my humble opinion, to come in in third place because, as I said during the call, here's one driver, Billy Roberts, who can give away a lot of years uh, to these younger fellas, but he's been a top tradesman, a top sportsman for a long time, and I think that was uh, the drive of that race. But it's over to you, Ross. OK, uh, Rod, will have the Lions Club here. Alan Butcher receiving some congratulations there from uh, Billy Roberts and uh, Graham Lilford. And as soon as that's done... And I'll call on Bob Lehman on behalf of the Newcastle Central Lions Club. He now equals Paul McHugh's record.
Paul McHugh has three wins in the race and Alan Butcher's third victory in the Lions charity. Bob Lehman. Thanks, uh, Ross. Uh, well, Alan, uh, third time uh, you go into the annals of history with Paul McHugh. Uh, Paul's a great mate of yours as well, and uh, it's good to see you winning again because you've supported our meetings over many years and a very good race. Uh, track was very good, and uh, we look forward to seeing you race again. Thanks very much, Bob, and uh, thanks very much. We uh, just spoke with Bob on Friday morning about coming down to race. Uh, there was a final meeting at home, just like this is your final meeting here. But uh, Denise is home there racing, doing battle with the boys, trying to get a, a second, third or a fourth in the point system. I'd already won the season's points, so the thousand looked pretty good to win down here, and thanks very much for having us, Bob. OK, good, Alan. Thanks, Alan. Alan's always supported our Lions Club uh, Grand Classic, and we appreciate you coming down from Queensland, Alan. Right, now, uh, well, uh, young fellow here, uh, Graham, nice to see you in the uh, second again. I think you've had a second or two in the Lions Grand Classic, but it's good to see a local boy and a very popular local boy uh, winning. Congratulations, Graham. Thanks very much, Bob. Uh, I'd just like to thank the boys for getting the car here and that sort of thing. Did a lot of work through the last couple of weeks. Uh, the sponsors, Newcastle Motorhome Videos and ARE Race Cars. And of course the Lions Club for putting on the show. It's really good and it's good to finish a race, <laughs> even if it's behind Alan. Thank you. Well, Billy, uh, a real supporter of our Lions Grand Classic and that goes back to the days of, uh, should I dare say, head and greeter. But, uh, Bill, I think you must have run in just about every Lions Grand Classic we've held. I missed last year's, unfortunately, because uh, the car had a blown motor, but uh, we were happy to come back this year. Good to see you, and good to see you in the winning again. Or in the prize money, anyway. Not winning, but uh, I suppose all are winners uh, if you get a place in the Lions Grand Classic. But uh, thanks for coming along, Bill, and uh, supporting the Sydney boys, and we're glad to see you in a place. Thanks, Bob. I'd like to thank uh, Lions for putting it on, and uh, Peter Gurbiel for having us up here, and uh, I don't mind being beat by Alan Butcher and Graham Wilford every time. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Billy. <laughs> Rod, did you happen to mention that you'd uh, announce Bill Roberts as the best driver of the race? I certainly did. Yes. Bill Roberts has been a friend of mine for many years. As I said, he could... Hello, mate. And it's great to see you up there in third place. And I have elected you to receive the award as the driver of that race. OK, thanks very much, Rod. Alan Butcher and Graham Lilford and Bill Roberts, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the promotion of the Newcastle International Motodrome, I'd like to thank you for your patronage throughout the 1980s.